Welcome everyone to another episode of Sonotica. Now, first off, because of a recommendation somebody had about the lagging I was experienced when trying to uh, put down a new blueprint, particularly right below this area with the foundations, I have finished the entire solar panel farm. So as you can see, I have a lot of solar panels in here. So everything is built. No, uh, no unfinished blueprints anywhere. And I'll show you right now, I'm still having that lag. I am still unable to build right here with the foundation that right there is fine but as soon as it goes green the lag just starts again my frame rate drops so it is something specific with this area right here probably because i am right underneath the big massive number of plants so i have decided not to put any more plants in here yet i didn't even bother building any more grow beds here yet because of that reason instead i decide after i got the uh solar farm done to focus on something else now i also received you know suggestions on how to handle stacking the multi-purpose rooms and i still have this stack going now even though i received those suggestions i did end up coming up with a, an idea of how to do it myself and so i'm actually prepared for that today i have brought a whole bunch of titanium with me i actually have one two three four five six uh wall lockers full of titanium just for building multi-purpose rooms today that's 30 titanium each so basically each column is one multi-purpose room uh so that's five each that means i could technically make 30 multi-purpose rooms but if i factor in the cost for the uh ladders that's two more which brings the total cost to eight titanium which means basically i'm going to be able to build 22 multi-purpose rooms in the stack before I run out of this titanium. I also have, uh, I think it's right here. Yes, I have some spare titanium and quartz specifically for how I'm going to handle building and leveling up higher and higher. So this is going to stay in my inventory and I'm just going to be kind of coming up, you know, back down, back up, building stuff today. And fortunately, I should not have a problem with the whole integrity because let me show you here. I actually am still pretty good on whole integrity. Now, uh, if I take a little bit off this and pop it back, you see I have 75.5 hull strength. The multi-purpose rooms decrease by 1.25 in hull strength each. So basically, if I add 22 multi-purpose rooms to it, and I've got notes here, make sure I got the numbers right, that should be 27.5 reduction to my hull strength, bringing my total hull strength down from 75.5 to 48. So I will still have plenty of of whole strength until I start adding in a lot of windows. So I will have to do some thinking in terms of how I want to lay out windows and the reinforcements to keep the whole strength up. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to just make them match identical to each level or do them in a rotating pattern, but that's something I'm gonna be thinking about. But let's go ahead and start building up and I'll show you the little idea I came up with that I'm sure other people have done. Uh, I, I just realized this is probably the most sensible way to do it. So let's go ahead and give this a try as I climb all the way up. So uh, we'll pick this side, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to, we'll do the plain eye compartment. And what you're wanting to make sure you do is you can actually build like this in the corners and come walk out and then dismantle it afterwards, which is the nice part. And then just one hatch. So that's, you know, two titanium for the eye connector, two titanium for the hatch, plus glass on the hatch right there. So, or the quartz on the hatch. And that means I can stand up here and place down another multi-purpose room and then reach up as high as I can, go in, build some, uh, build some more ladders and just keep going up and up and up as high as possible. And I really, I still think I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to bump into anything. And I do have some ideas for once the tower is up high enough, I will be making some actual hatches that come out on the sides here. Uh, yeah, it's actually starting to lighten up a bit. That's good. Uh, but basically I think what I want to do is I'm gonna have like a little, you know, a little walkway that comes out here to this spot. Uh, one that goes over there. There's actually a little dirt path up there from the old Degazi group, I guess. 
So I want to have it like kind of walk out there like this is a nature walk type thing. You come in here and then climb down the mini ladders back down lower and <laughs> get back into the rest of the base. But OK, so that is as high as I can go. So now I just come in here. I'm going to pop the hatch, then pop the uh, eye connector, which is great thing, meaning I won't mess up accidentally. And uh, well, if I can get the eye connector, it usually has been. You got to target just the right spot for it. Uh, there you go. It's a basic compartment. Yeah. Little, little tricky to get these, but it does work. So I now I, I should do a couple of ladders. I decided to build them in the middle, too, because I will be placing, you know, windows and things like that. And I didn't want them blocking a certain window. So we're going to do it like this. Let's see how much. Yeah, I've still got plenty. I think that should be, I can't go, no, I can go one more, okay. One more. It's too bad you cannot build a ladder onto the roof of any of these. So I have my four there and I have five. So yeah, that one titanium that was left down there in the, uh, uh, in the Cyclops in that one locker. We'll have to drop something else out of my inventory, but I'm going to go ahead and get some more of these rooms put in place. Let's see how high we can get today on the tower, at least. OK, so I'm getting up above some of the uh, ground level where I can actually see blue sky in the distance. And yeah, you so you see, I've got this little spot here. I think I could probably line it up with the hatch over here and over there. If I, I might have to do like a little, oh, I could probably do the corner hatch and make it work, maybe actually I might have to do it off of this one, like come off this way and have it where you kind of jump up to it because that looks like it might be just a little too low, but I can build out and have little walkways to allow you like a little nature walk, hike, you know, trail. And you just thought oh, we're going to go for a little walk. Enjoy the, you know, alien planet, you know, rare land mass that we have right now. It's like, you know, it's, it's rare to find dry land especially this you know uh this populated with uh plants In most cases you know the what we got the mountain island doesn't have a lot of plants on it and this does so yeah that's that's uh we're gonna be able to do it not gonna worry about those spots this is where we have like i think i can see a little bit of the trail there and there should be a trail up over that way so yeah this will be helpful but you see just how high i'm getting already it makes me almost want to try to build like a trunk that goes over to each of the mountain peaks maybe at some point but for now i just want to see how high we can build okay so i am completely out of titanium now i have got my eye connector my hatch here that i'm standing on you can see down there the corner of the planter area you can see just how high up i am it's nighttime but you can see just how high in the sky i am i mean i've got a full view of the back of the aurora uh, you know, nice view of the moons. Uh, yeah, I guess moon. That might be a planet. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've got a good view all the way around. Uh, I think I might be able to disprove the the flat Earth people from up here at this point. But I do have a spot there for another one. And we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to take the short way down and take the Cyclops. Go get some more titanium. So, because I want to keep going. I, I'm, I'm taller than both of the peaks now. I'm above the Degazi base. So this is the highest built structure so far in the game right now. Other than, of course, the Aurora. And I have a feeling at some point we'll hit a ceiling. But let's take the short way down. The big, you know, the dive into the lagoon. Ah, and it's going to be so good once I get it done. I'm going to leave a spot like that so you can walk out and dive into the water from there. Because that'll be fun to have in the end. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go get some more titanium and get back to work on building this even higher now. Okay, I'm back with a full load of titanium again. And I realized that I was worried about hull strength, hull integrity. And I shouldn't have been because all this is above water. So it doesn't affect the hull strength of the base positively or negatively. So uh, I can put all windows in this at the point that it goes above water and it won't make a difference in the end. But I have gathered a whole bunch more titanium. I've got a fresh charge on my battery and we're going to see just how high I am right now. So this is level one because I'm connecting here with it. So this is one, two, three. 
36, 37, 37 floors high right now. So that's just how high I have it where I can actually enter and everything. Uh, I still have like this to build. So if that's 37 that I am technically standing on right now, then that's 38, 39, 40. That is 40 levels up in the air from where I was before. And I'm having trouble seeing things right. There we go. Now, now we got it showing green. Easier to plant it like this. I don't have to worry about trying to fight with the right placement inside. Come on, deconstruct. It is a little slow on deconstructing some things right now. I really may have to consider as much as I would not like to because I did put in some time to plant everything. I might have to take all of the plants out from the uh, above ground garden area uh, and just say like, oh, well, this is where they would be if uh, there wasn't a lag issue because of having so many plants. But I am going to at least get the rest of this haul of titanium used up and trying to <laughs> build this as high as I can. I'm, I'm either going to run out again of titanium or I'm going to get to the building ceiling and be unable to build any higher. But yes, look at it. Now you've got a good daytime view. Look at this. I, I'm well above the height level of the Gazi bases over there and there. Uh, I can see this. This is going to be so great. I, uh, let, make sure I don't fall. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of room. Uh, I probably will do the same thing like I did uh, down here on that multi-purpose stack. I will build some motion, you know, lights, the spotlights afterwards once I'm done building as high as I can and uh, just have it all lit up nicely at night. And I just realized I need to stay out here and build some more. So I'm going to get back to focusing on this and keep going until I run out of titanium again. All right. So here we are. I am out of titanium again and I counted up. I am 61 floors for this entire tower from the base floor all the way up now at 61 floors in the air. 61 multi-purpose rooms up in the air. And if I carefully move here, you can see the entire platform down there pretty much. And you see just how far down I am for that. Uh, but going right here, if I point right below me, the Cabo Wabo sub is immediately underneath this tower at the lowest level. And it's 233 meters down. So even with it not being completely right below it, there is a little gap. It's still 200 meters down. That's 200 meters up in the air. You can see how high I am in comparison to the Degazi little bases there. And I, like I said, I'm out of titanium, so I don't even have any titanium to build another level here. And I can keep going, it looks like, at least, you know, to a certain distance up. So I will still be doing more building with this. But for right now, we are going to take the Big Leap 61 multi-purpose rooms down right here into the lagoon. Oh, imagine diving off of that in real life. I would be so worried because of how hard that impact against the water would be. Oh, that would hurt. But yes, so what I can probably do, what I think I'll do is I'll do like a mixture here of reinforcements and windows, like the reinforcements in the, you know, alternating pattern. So it kind of twists as it goes up with the windows alternating with it as well. And then once you get to the water level, what I think I want to do, if I can make it work right, I'm going to build a couple of spots that come out here. One that's going to go, let's see, over this way, actually, I believe is where, yeah, I need one that comes over here, kind of lets out into the ground or, you know, water level here so you can walk up. And I, I think that's really it. Maybe put, oh yeah, one over there too. I'll put one there. And one here so i'll have a couple spots that come out maybe put even a platform up here if i can make it work right as, in terms of height level so it'll be like oh yeah here's a little play area for the kids or whatever like i said i'll also will have some uh branches that come off up there to the different hiking paths around the island but for most part once i get to i think starting with this floor i'm just going to do glass windows all the way up because that will not negatively affect my uh 
hull strength for the rest of the base, so I can just pretty much start working my way all the way up. And you see just how high that is, how far up I will have to go, even from here. I mean, that's at least 50 floors up, and that's eight glass panes per floor, and it takes, was it one glass? Yes, one glass for each window. That's two quarts. So I'm looking at at least, God, like four, 400 glass, so 800 quarts in the end. I'm going to be spending a lot of time loading this thing up so you can see all the way uh, out of it. But yeah, that this is a big project. This is something I'm just going to keep working on in the future. I'm going to stop for now uh, because I do want to get some other things done here. And I'm, what I'm thinking is I don't want to do the same thing, the same approach going all the way down with the columns. So I feel like I want to do, uh, you know, one out here and do an observatory on the end of it like that and do the same thing on this side. So I'll have the, if it will let me, I mean, I know that turns green. I might have to like, you know, build on it first. I don't know, maybe the, yeah, that won't work there, but maybe we could do like the observatory there. And uh, maybe actually instead of having the hatch right here, I'll put the hatch on this side since it's kind of facing that, have it come out with the hatch and then use that for actually having a vertical net connector that comes down and make this next part a big drop down using vertical connectors instead. So it's cheaper, uh, <laughs> a lot cheaper than trying to do it with multi-purpose rooms. I'm just gonna bring it all the way down here like this and then build a section down here, you know, some multi-purpose rooms for, you know, like an alien containment or something like that. But most part is gonna be building a setup here that's going to have some moon pools for prawn suits. I wanna have that coming off. So we have some prawn suit bays down here. And of course it connects all the way back up by vertical connectors to that section there and then I might you know go find like I said previously find some geothermal vents nearby and do like a really big network of thermal plants down here as well even though I'm producing over 7,000 power uh, with solar panels just to make it feel more realistic having a ton of power and having plenty of backup power uh, that's probably what I'm going to end up trying to do in the end but I do need some titanium for that. And once again, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> I have gone through, uh, let's see, it was one, uh, 180 titanium I started with. And I went and got the exact same amount again. I filled up all the same containers. So yeah, I'm looking at as, as over 300 titanium I have burned through today for <laughs> just the tower so far. So I need to go find some more titanium again, as well as maybe start getting some glass going for that. But I do still want to try some other stuff. I noticed some stuttering with the ladders when I was trying to build them. And like, you know, you saw the hatch and everything was a bit problematic, but it's not like over here with the foundation. So I actually want to test over here, coming off of one of these sections, if the hat if the foundation does the same thing and wow yes so something with the foundations right now the way they render uh something like that causes a lot of stuttering uh right now probably to do with the plants i have growing up top but uh you know worst case i'll end up just taking those out and have it be like oh this is for the plants we just can't use the plants because of the rendering engine I do need a place for a large set of alien containments now too. So I do want to actually build off a little bit more on this. That might be what I do instead is uh, have that as the drop down, the vertical connector drop down to the next spot below because you cannot build a vertical connector off of the underside of a multi-purpose room, unfortunately. Uh, it does not want to line up anywhere. Uh, that is really unfortunate. That would be so easy. Just have a, you know, it'd be a multi-purpose room on a stick. Uh, but it won't let me do that. So I'll probably build this down as the column, the vertical connector column. So it 
cheaper to connect below. Uh, build a build an observatory off of this because that will fit there. It should, and I might actually build this out uh, and create a set like a, a do a branch where it comes off of here into a series of three multi-purpose columns of like say five rooms each that just kind of you know goes down this way and those columns will be used for producing fish for well, food for bio biofuel whatever uh, mostly probably food i'm gonna go with oculus i'm just gonna make sure i've got really big containers for oculus get a ton of oculus in there which probably will not help my lagging issue anymore either but yeah that's another project there that's a lot more titanium i have to get so uh yeah that's that's gonna be it for today's episode if you enjoyed my pain and suffering of gathering over 300 titanium to just build up 61 multi-purpose rooms in the air for one really fun dive at the end then you know go ahead and hit that like button leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already as always i'm your host mr spicy thanks so much for watching be sure to keep it spicy this week and i will see you in the next video